here. Um, so I was thinking uh, during the presentation about the concept of smart cities that is very uh, top right now, like uh, everybody uh, seems uh, to understand that smart cities are a solution for city problems. Uh, so this uh, sometimes uh, utopic technological um, and integrated city that will prevent um, problems with uh, climate change, for example. So is smart cities always incompatible with slow cities? Uh, or um, it's, is this smart cities concept a very fast city concept? I don't know if it's clear, but. Yeah, thank you. Uh, in India, we have a big debate. A government announced in 2015 that the government is going to develop 100 smart cities. Then people started asking, what is a smart city? Huh. There was no, no, I still we don't have any definition of the smart city. But what they say that may be more driven by the, uh, uh, basically, uh, IT, hmm? more actually artificial intelligence, all these actually things people are talking. And they are actually the modern technology and other. But trouble is, you, you see, you know, the impact of technology, impact of, uh, uh, I mean, these actually the new inventions and other things with the human relations. Hmm? I mean, you just look at that, how they, people who are, for whom it is being invented, how they will connect with that. That is what I say that 20% are, uh, I mean, having, I mean, census 2011 was showing around 18 to 20% was having the computers and other in India. Maybe now we say that 35% have a smartphone, uh, I mean, they uh, uh, connected with the computer some way with the internet. But it's still 65% not. And these 60, 35% who are connected, they are still don't know how, how to do. They may be watching Facebook or some YouTube movie. But that does not mean they are actually can do everything with that. So there are lots of gap in, in that one. So that one aspect come that how the smart city, who will be living in those smart cities? Can people with the all kind of uh, uh, things, they can live with that? Are the common men live in the smart city? That is where we say the smart cities are not needed. You improve the infrastructure, you improve the housing, you improve the other thing. Don't give as a nomenclature which common man cannot understand that what actually smartness is going to come in that. So you come that one and then define, but Indian government has not defined it. Huh, that what I say, but smart cities, what I said, people are talking in general term like that. How the smart cities will connect with the slow? There are few things which we can take from the technology and bring it. For example, one thing is that internet. Internet assures that your mobility, unnecessary mobility can be restricted because information can be uh, particularly done. But there is also consequences of it. The, Slow, com slow communities mean that you are meeting people. You understand? Because how the cohesion in the uh, city will remain, how the community will remain, unless you walk down every day on those paths and somebody sees you, uh, where are you going? What are the problem? I will can you resolve. If you are doing with internet every day, then how will you meet them? The people in the in slow cities, the, what they are doing is actually has one issue that they are emphasizing too much in internet also. For, bringing down the uh, transportation cost. That may be good for the certain things, information and other, but the, where the movement of the people and meeting with the community, walkable communities, uh, if that is gone, then mean that you cannot assure a uh, sustainable and uh, linked community because the people will again get uh, separated and they will not meet each other. So that is actually trouble uh, and very important question you raised, hmm? how to connect them. Yeah. Okay, very short one. Last one or short one. Okay. So, um, my question is related to the Indian context because currently I'm w researching on employment policies for development and I'm studying the case of India, the National Rural Employment Job Guarantee. Can you listen? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm trying my best. Uh, have you heard what I've been saying so far? Or should I repeat it? Repeat it. Uh, okay. So, 
Uh, I'd like to raise a question on the Indian context because I'm currently studying employment policies for development and I'm studying the case of India with the National Rural Employment Act. And uh, I've learned that this policy was designed also to make possible to contain uh, the flows of population, the migration from rural areas to urban areas. And I would like to ask um, what are your thoughts on this strategy in terms of public policy, employment policy? Is it working in India? And if you think that it, this could be a strategy to contain this large flows to cities and also to as a strategy to also contribute to this aim of like slow communities and how we can like deal with regional development, urban and rural development. Yeah, we can quickly take his question and then reply yeah. together, yeah. respond yeah. together. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Just, just. Answer to the two questions okay. in one minute. Ha. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Francisco from Argentina and I think I, I really enjoyed your, the diagnosis of the problem that, in fact, I'm, I'm particularly suffering myself moving to Paris in these uh, last few months. Uh, but I'm not very sure on the, on the um, uh, sequence of, of, uh, of links that, that you raise, since, at least in Latin America, I, I understand the different con contexts in different parts of the global south. In maybe in some parts it's, it makes a sense to, to think that it's growing maybe too fast, but in fact in a, in a wide part of the global south the problem is rather that is, there's a lack of growth. And that, uh, without, uh, nevertheless, that does not make uh, slow cities, you know. So you can see this also a combination of lack of growth with uh, fast cities and with great uh, inequalities and a very clear contrast on, on accumulation circuit and a survival uh, circuit. So maybe I think that contextualizing in, in a wider set of situations could also um, raise some questions regarding growth and how growth is actually related with, with fast cities. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, just uh, uh, very quickly to respond to you, thank you very much. That is actually the aim that uh, uh, people were, were migrating and distressed because most of the money are nowadays going to the cities, not actually the rural development. So that was the process through which actually the Narega National Employment uh, Guarantee Scheme that came and uh, that containing the population and also providing some kind of uh, uh, support to the people. Uh, guaranteed uh, uh, kind of employment uh, that actually was there and that actually stopped somewhere addressed the uh, migration and particularly after the COVID, uh, during COVID it became very important to sustain the families in the uh, villages and that way the cities were not overburdened in terms of the migration so that it helped uh, really. Uh, uh, for you I, I say the example the too slow and no change is also pro problem. So that is where I say that it's a continuum. Two, if you are extreme on the both side, there will be trouble. Hmm? So you have to be somewhere in, located in the middle in terms of the growth. Hmm? And actually a, a, a proper speed need to be there, optimum speed. Like, no, you say that don't drive 120 miles above. So <laughs> that is actually maybe, maybe, I mean, this is a provocation again. So somewhere actually we need to have this. So thank <laughs> Yeah, please. Go. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I just, I just want to uh, bring a little bit the the um, the topic of the free time uh, for the people because I think it's the creation of communities, not just about the geography. It's not about how growth is financed, but also it has to do with um, the ability that. The, 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 the spare time that people have to share with others. So I think it's important when we think about the, the, this concept of slow cities, community uh, like bonds, and also uh, job, very central to the, to the question of, of job. Thank you, totally agree. Sharing is the most important thing, what you said. Huh? 
Huh? So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. For, uh...